heavyweight division fight. So here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. If we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot speed in the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem after Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the take now for this featherweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, awesome. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And when the action begins, a referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it'll be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Huge kick to the body. That can't feel good. They're certainly getting after it early. Check your face, Robert. Check your face. A sneaky head kick. Big knee there to the chest. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh! Just out of range with that strike. Going orthodox now. He's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landing. Oh, he hurt him bad with a jab. <laughs> He's looking to land the right just out of range. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Out of range with that one. 
sword every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. seconds to go in round one. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot of leg kicks for good measure in that round. I mean, leg kicks are the key. You watch people win fights with just leg kicks, especially in this game. I mean, it is my strike of choice. I love the animation when I've landed so many leg kicks that my opponent just kind of waves me off and the fight gets stopped. Keep throwing them. If they're not going to check them, keep throwing the leg kick. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, champ? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Striking classes in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see as the pool is to slow down. You cannot take many of those kicks. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. How good is that right hand? Just out of range with that right hook. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. They continue to exchange. <laughs> Lee gets hit with a kick. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Beautiful strike. And they separate. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Fantastic takedown. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. Two rounds in the books. Kick right there, landed perfect. 
All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. I expect somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. It's still right where we started. Just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those legs. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Over the top. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high. Very bad. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Real sneaky body kick. Superman punch. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Blocks the shot. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. What a tricky head kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? All right, so a near perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, was able to get him down. There. Persistence pays. And that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to mix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top control? Back to the feet now. Single collar tie now. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Oh, huge kick. in here's Bruce Buffer ladies and gentlemen after three rounds we go to the judges scorecards for a decision all three judges score the contest 30 27 declaring the winner by unanimous decision Asa. all right nice job by him there as he is your